And now let's go do the right side view. And let's unhide the image which is on the right plane. And now create this supplying curve on the right plane by tracing the curve which is at the middle section of this curve. And just start it here and continue it along this curve and finish it right here. And you need to create some vertical construction line for the next reference. Don't forget that. Uh, we need to do this for accuracy. Okay, now let's exit the sketch. Now we need to go to the top plane, I mean top view. And unhide the image which is on the top plane. And create this 2D supplying curve on the top plane, which is also the middle curve. Let me show it clearly. So as you can see, I have created two horizontal center line first. And then I created this supplying curve by tracing the image. And you have to be careful, you need to add coincident relationship between these two center line and the previous two center line. Be careful with this. Otherwise, we won't get the result that we want. Now, is it a sketch? Now, let's use the projector curve command. And select this two curve. And click on confirm. And now, let's hide the top image. Let's create a reference plane for the guide curve. Our first reference will be this point, And the second reference will be the front plane. Okay, and confirm it. Now let's right click on this plane and choose number 2. And let's create a supplying curve on this plane. Uh, just click briefly uh, anywhere you want. We will add PS relationship later. If you want to, you can create three point supply curve. Then you can control the curvature. And now select this point and select this projected curve and choose PS relationship. Now select this vertex and this point and choose coincident. Okay, and is it a sketch? Now let's hide this plane. And now let's go to the right side view. And let's choose the tree sketch and use the supply. And let's create a three point supply. And you need to make sure the endpoint of this supply are contact with top vertex and this projected curve. Now let's go to the front view. And select this control point and adjust the curvature the way you want. Okay, that's look nice. So by using this technique, you need to create two or more guide curve to get the better surface result. The procedure is exactly the same way, so take your time to do it. So as you can see, I have created three more guide curve. All the guide curve are contact with top vertex and this projected curve. And I also created this guide curve by con uh, connecting the top edge of the uh, surface and the endpoint of this projected curve. I hope you got the same result. Now let's go to the service step and use the boundary service command. Okay, right click and choose selection manager and select group selection and select these top edges. And click on confirm. Now select this projected curve. Okay, now select all the guide curve that you have created between this uh, top edge and this projected curve. Okay, as you can see, the result is quite good and it is perfect. Well, as you can see, I have split this uh, boundary surface by creating two lines on the right plane. It is pretty easy to create this split line, so please do it yourself. Now let's create a reference plane. Our first reference will be this vertex, and our second reference will be the top plane. And click on confirm. Now right click on this new plane and choose number 2. And let's change the visual style to wireframe. And let's unhide the top image, which is on the top plane. And now create this 2D supply curve on this new plane by tracing the image below it. You have to create this supply from the 
the point to the point where you created the split line so be careful with this now is it a sketch okay now we need to create a reference plane so choose plane our first reference will be this point where you created the split line and second reference will be the frame plane and click on confirm now right click on this plane and choose number two and create this 2d supplying curve on this new plane uh, if you want to you can use the reference image to trace this curve and you have to make sure the top end point of this supplying curve have coincident relationship with this vertex and bottom point must have also the coincident relationship with the previous sketch so be careful with it now let's exit the sketch and now let's create a 3d sketch and click on conventity select this edge and click on confirm okay i don't want this supply up to that vertex so i need to split this so right click on this supply and choose split entity and click anywhere you want it's up to you i'm going to click right here and let's select this right curve and delete it okay now i need to connect this uh, curve and uh, the edge on this market okay now let's add a tangent relationship between these two curves you can click anywhere on the market it is up to you now is it a sketch now let's use the boundary service command and select this 3d sketch now select this 3d sketch and let's go to that direction too and select this curve okay and confirm it okay the result is good but i need to trim this inside extra phases i mean face so let's go to the sketch and let's create a 3d sketch and click on conventity and select this edge and this edge and click on confirm well i don't need i mean we don't need all this curve we need to trim i mean split this curve so choose split entity and click here now let's uh, delete this curve which is on the right side Now let's use the trim command trim tool will be this 3d sketch and choose remove selection and select this and click on confirm okay now our surface is perfect that's look great okay now let's uh, unhide the i mean right click on this new play and choose sketch and let's choose normal view okay we need to unhide the top image again and create this 2d supplying curve by tracing the image you need to start from the previous endpoint of the sketch and continue along this direction and finish it right here okay now let's exit the sketch and let's use the love service command right click and choose selection manager and select this top edge and this edge and confirm it now select the previous sketch right click and choose selection manager and select this edge and this edge and confirm it Okay, let's hide this stuff image and we need to create a reference plane to close this gap. So select that vertex and choose plane. Our second reference will be the front plane and click on confirm. Right click on this new plane and choose from a do. And create this 2D supply gap on this new plane. And you have to make sure the top end is contact with this top edge. 
and the bottom endpoint is contact with the previous vertex. Now we need to create a three sketch. So let's exit a sketch, and let's choose three D sketch, and let's click on convert D, and select this top edge and confirm it. Okay, we need to split this. So select and right click, choose split command, and split it from right here. Now let's delete this left curve and exit the sketch. Now let's use the boundary service command and select this H and this H and let's go to the direction 2 and select the 3D sketch. And confirm it okay so far so good now let's create a 3d sketch and click on convert D and select these edges from this surface and confirm it okay I need to split this curve so select it and right click and choose split entity you can split this from anywhere you want and delete this curve oops I need to uh, add supplying curve okay now choose supplying command let's start from this endpoint and click on the edges I mean edge of this frame market Okay, now uh, I need to add tangent relationship between these two curves. Select it and click on tangent and confirm it. Okay, uh, is it a sketch?